I bet you look on the internet, you will find so much conflicting conversations around should you hand sew something or should you machine sew something? That is the big question that we are talking about today. So you can decide the best stitching that to use for your garments that you have, because I want you to make the best use of your stitching time. Welcome back my sewing friends. My name is Evelyn Wood and I'm the creator of VintageSewingSchool.com and here on this channel we talk everything about garment sewing so you can get better and create those garments that you really dream of. So do check uh, the description box below or the subscribe button I should say to see if you are in fact subscribed if you want to learn more about this and double check because YouTube likes to unsubscribe you from uh, video uh, channels sometimes so do double check. Make sure you've got the bells on so you get notified of everything. This came up because in a recent video I was talking about what I learned from looking inside vintage garments and one of the points that I made was that I learned was that how much hand sewing went on in these vintage garments. I'll link that video here and you can go watch that down below later. And so the question was then asked after this was well what should I hand sew and what should I machine sew? And I thought, good question, let's talk about that. There are, of course, no one right answer and the answer would always be, well, it depends. And so that's what we'll do. Let's, let's take a list of um, our main construction, like sewing techniques, our construction techniques that we use and we'll list them out and we'll say, or talk about why it might, you might hand sew versus machine sew. And then I will tell you what I do uh, mostly. Um, on those occasions for those techniques. Sounds good? Okay, I'm excited. <laughs> because you might just learn one new method of sewing or open your eyes to a different different way or a different method that might just then give you the results that you're after because there is no one right way to do anything and there's always another way to learn how to do something. I certainly have learned that in my years of sewing. Okay, let's get started with seams. Well, you can either hand sew or machine sew and you could do both. I would say that you would hand sew seams uh, if you were obviously doing some historical uh, accurate clothing and needed to hand sew for that or you didn't have a machine. What do I do? Machine sew. There is absolutely no way that you would find me hand sewing the seams unless that was the point of what I was doing of course being so um, you know historically accurate but that's not the kind of thing that I do. I think it's quite widely recognized that uh, the seams, which are sort of hidden stitching, definitely do by machine to save time. It's a stronger, straighter stitch. That is for my hand sewing is a straighter, stronger stitch. And so all my seams are definitely, definitely machine. I forgot to mention, keep yourself a list. I want to hear your answers down below. So as we go through these, either put machine or hand, put the, the, the one that we're doing. So for example, seams, and then um, write down yours, either hand sew or machine sew. I love to hear all of your answers down below. So to take notes and put, pop your uh, answers in below in the comments section. What about waistbands? And so uh, we mean by waistbands, generally, uh, not the actual construction process, but say that end finishing, you know, when you when you fold the waistband over and you could either where the band is across here, you could top stitch along the top to hold the, the two facings in place, the two pieces. You could um, ditch stitch through there or you could hand sew it on underneath. There's a few different methods. And so obviously most of that comes into uh, visible stitches, being top stitching, etc. Ditch stitching is fairly invisible. You don't see it, but it's still machined and uh, hand sewing you would do mostly to be invisible. And what do I do? I do both. <laughs> so I uh, will hand sew those waistbands down on garments that I really want a nice sort of more couture looking finish and feel to it. Uh, potentially if it has lining or lighter softer fabrics. Uh, otherwise I would usually ditch stitch uh, the waistbands down. To, it's still invisible but it's a lot quicker. If it's a more heavy use type item I definitely want uh, that ditch stitching with a bit more security than the, the hand stitch if it's for sort of a heavy use item. So that's what I do. And let's talk about facings. Either bias facings or shaped facings. So shaped facings are just the ones that are shaped in the say the uh, shape of a neckline etc. So uh, we talk about not the um, you know sewing it to the garment or the understitching or anything like that but would what do you do with the flap side 
would you machine or hand sew this down? Hmm, so you could do either. On a shaped facing, uh, generally you wouldn't machine sew it down much because it's, um, it's, it would be a line right out here, right? Actually, basically imagine my neckline, this square here, but it was underneath as a facing. You just have random stitching out here and it might be decorative, but usually you wouldn't do that. You would usually hand stitch those in place. But just like my around my under my armhole seams here, uh, this is a bias facing around here and which case it's just a thin little strip and hand sew or machine sew. So, well, there's your choices. It mostly comes down to either being invisible or visible uh, for those cases. And that's why you might choose one or the other. What do I do? Well, it depends. And again, I like to uh, hand stitch down or uh, shaped facings. I would never machine stitch that down, but a bias facing, I either hand stitch or machine stitch. This one is machine stitched. On things that I want, again, a little bit heavier wear, um, things somewhere that I don't mind having that visible stitching, it sort of blends in with the design like it does here. I like it. I like the finish. It's nice and solid, secure, sturdy, uh, but I do very, very often hand stitch uh, those bias facings down as well to get an invisible, neat, crisp finish. And we move on to hems. This one is a good one. So a hem could be machine stitched, could be hand stitched, and again is usually due to being either visible machine stitching. You can do invisible machine stitching, so I find pretty much there's only good for sort of thicker, fluffier fabrics. Uh, I've never, I don't employ it in my sewing routine. Um, I would only do invisible ones by hand, or you can, mostly machine stitching is visible on top, and then the hand stitching is usually done so that it's an invisible um, hemline. That's generally it. And you have a little bit more control over hand stitching a hem, particularly you have, if you have a circular skirt and are trying to ease in that extra fullness, hand stitching gives you far more control over certain areas like that. What do I choose? Again, it is both. So <laughs> um, I would hand stitch hems for in, when I want invisible finishes and I would machine stitch hems when I want something that is a bit more uh, heavy duty wear, something every day. Uh, I used to have a problem a lot where on skirts, if I would hand stitch them, if I was in my jobs, um, like bending up and down all the time and my heel would really often get, get caught because it's just a little bit loose and get stuck on the hems. And so that's when I started to machine stitch all my sort of regular heavy, heavy aware um, skirts. Uh, for that reason, just so that they just definitely won't get caught in anything and just last a little longer. So that's what I choose for my hems. Trims. Ooh, this is a good one. So we mean like trims, uh, ribbons, you know, little, all sorts of decorative little trims. Would you hand sew or machine sew? So you could hand sew them on. Obviously will give you a very delicate, fine, again, in more invisible type finish uh, to machine sew it on. You might see the stitches a bit more, but maybe it is appropriate on that particular trim. And it really is going to depend on the actual trim that you're using. It might be raised, it might be wide, it might be bendy, going around curves or straight. There really is no um, right one answer. It would just depend on what you're doing. What would I choose? Yeah, you guessed it, it would depend. <laughs> so I might hand stitch on a trim if it was a very delicate fine lace, if I wanted the stitches to be invisible uh, and a bit finer and to not see that, see that on there. But that, that it would be more lace or something like that. Generally, I would try my very hardest to actually machine sew uh, trims on, either be, be it a straight stitch if it's something that's straight, or usually a zigzag stitch is what you're used to sew on trims because it breaks up um, the stitching line a bit and becomes less obvious, um, particularly just from a short distance, it's less obvious being a zigzag, and it actually covers obviously more area of the trim and is what's used for most trims if you're ever going to machine sew anything on. So that's, I would always try and machine sew it on because my goodness, it saves so much time and usually you get a really, really nice result. Top stitching. Well, uh, well, you could absolutely do your top stitching by hand and this is where it would be more decorative looking. Uh, so top stitching is obviously where you can see the, the stitching on top of something being held together, generally. Uh, and so what would I choose? 
Oh, I am machine sewing that every single day of the week. My hand sewing is nowhere near uh, neat and tidy and straight enough to do a straight seam. I definitely do, don't do that. My hand sewing is reserved for uh, hems and uh, like more functional items, not decorative. If you're going to do this as decorative, you, your hand stitching needs to be so good to be super straight and neat and Oh my goodness, I think that falls into the, you know, more embroidery and decorative hand stitching than it does for functional hand stitching. So I'm choosing, uh, I'm definitely choosing a machine to do all my top stitchings if that is the point. Otherwise, by hand, it would be invisible. What about zips? You can hear a lot about this uh, hand pricked uh, zip for a beautiful couture type finish. Uh, maybe you've heard of that. Maybe you've just heard about that for the first time and thought, how is it even possible to hand sew a zip on? Generally, you would hand sew a zip. Of course, let's say you do have access to a machine and that's what you're doing. You would be hand sewing it so you get that couture invisible. So instead of that um, top stitching that you see around the zip, that would actually be little hand pricks that you barely even see, just like an invisible hem. So there is absolute use for that. And a machine, obviously, is every other zip that you've probably done before. What do I do? Yeah, you already know the answer. I definitely machine sew that all the time. Um, I don't mind. I do sort of a vintage style lapped zip is my favorite kind of zip. So one of the sides is actually hidden under the lap. So you only see that one, one side of stitching. And I find for me on a zip that gives a neat enough look that I'm very happy with. It gives it a beautiful finish. So I machine sew those. Now we have basting stitches. Hmm. So what are basting stitches? In case you don't know, basting stitches are temporary stitches to hold something in place. And you can either machine sew or hand sew basting. You would machine sew baste something together uh, to maybe have more like just to keep it in place. So you do choose your longest length. Um, you know, you could do this around the down the edges of garments before you sew them together. You use it to Lots of things, lots of things. You could baste a zip in place. You could baste a hem in place before you sew it. You could baste a seam before you actually sew it properly. All sorts of things you could baste there. So there is different reasons to do either or. A machine based will generally give a um, more closer together stitches and you can't do it in more visible places. If you hand baste, you could baste something through the middle of the garment and probably get away with not seeing so many um, like hole marks or anything like that. Um, and you can do a longer um, knee to baste. You obviously have far more control over doing it by hand. And what do I choose? Well, it depends on what I'm doing, but basically for all those reasons that I was just saying, I would machine base something. I would usually only use the uh, basting stitches around as a stay stitch on neckline edges, hemline edges as a stay stitch. Other than that, usually basting I would do by hand because I want that control. The point of usually why I'm basting is because I want it to stay exactly where it is and not move an inch because it's really hard to sew under the machine. So that's why I would hand baste it first to then sew it with the machine. I know so many of these are it depends and a bit of both depending on what you're doing. I would absolutely love to hear your answers down below on what you do as well. Remember to read them because there is no one way to do anything in sewing and maybe you have just found a new idea on something that might uh, improve your garment skills or get you the results that you're looking for whether by machine or hand sewing. And if you are really in loving this type of content and want more, you can always come and join me at Vintage Sewing School because this is exactly what I do there is we take your garment making skills to the next level and really develop the, the foundational skills you need to start creating things depending on what you have in front of you. So I leave, like, leave links down below. I would absolutely love to have you in class and see your skills grow. Okay, remember, leave your comments below on your score. Which one do you do? Hand sew or machine sew? I can't wait to, to see those. And until next time, my sewing friends, happy sewing. Bye.